Hello friends and welcome. I'm Mrs. Cole and today is the fifth Sunday of Lent. Just two more weeks until Easter. In today's story, Jesus compares himself to a grain of wheat, which looks something like this when it's all grown. You know, Jesus lived a life of service and love, and he would like us to do the same, to be loving and to serve people by sharing and being cooperative and being helpful. So let's go inside and learn more. Let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, during this holy season of Lent, may we learn how to serve you, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now here is a picture of wheat, similar to what we saw outside. Wheat is planted in the ground and it seems to die, but soon new green sprouts push up through the earth. Jesus is comparing himself to that wheat. He died on the cross for us and his death brings us new life. His cross was planted in the ground, but Jesus rose again three days later and he gives us new life if we believe in him and serves and serve others. Jesus asks us to live a life of service. As it says here, Jesus asks us to help him in spreading his good news and helping others. So let's see what's in the Bible bag and learn more. Well, first we have some seeds. Now these aren't wheat seeds, but they're similar to it. When farmers plant these seeds, they're buried underground and it seems like they're dead, but no, the roots are shooting down and the plant begins growing. And one day, it looks kind of like this. In today's story, Jesus is in Jerusalem for his last Passover celebration. And he's telling his disciples not to worry when he dies on the cross a few days from then. Just when it seems like he's completely dead, he'll be more alive than ever by rising three days later, which is what we celebrate on Easter. In our story today, Jesus says some things that seem confusing, as this picture shows. Jesus is here saying, those who love their life will lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. And the guy over here says, huh? <laughs> what Jesus means is that the person who only thinks of himself and just lives for today is making a mistake. But if you follow Jesus, you can have eternal life in heaven. Jesus laid down his life for us, and he wants us to do the same by being servants of God, by being loving and helping and serving others, not only thinking about ourselves. And here we have Jesus. So let's hear what he tells his friends just a few days before his death about serving God and serving each other. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you for certain that a grain of wheat that falls on the ground will never be more than one grain if it dies. But if it dies, it will produce lots of wheat. If you love your life, you will lose it. If you give it up in this world, you will be given eternal life. If you serve me, you must go with me. My servants will be wherever I am. If you serve me, my Father will honor you. This is the good news of the Lord. So that's our Bible story for today, which tells us that we are to be servants of God. Even though you're young, you can make a big difference in the world and in your family. We are all born to serve in a special way. And in fact, our motto as Christians could easily be here to serve. So how do we do that? Well, in little ways every day. We've been talking about praying and giving things up and doing nice things for others as ways of growing closer to God during Lent. But really, they are things to do every day for our whole lives and not just Lent. We can and should serve God and each other cheerfully every chance we get by sharing and being cooperative and agreeable, putting other people first, helping as often as we can where people need help, 
and praying for our friends and family. These are all ways that we serve God and each other. So this week, see how many ways you can be a good servant. Let's end with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, during this holy season of Lent, may we learn how to serve you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So until next time, Palm Sunday, be loving, be kind, serve others, and always remember, Jesus loves you.